What it is, everyone. Today we're going to do another video, and this week we're going to talk about decorating dreads. So dreads are very versatile in the way that you can do pretty much anything you want with them, whether it's styling, coloring, shaving parts of it, or decorating them with sort of things that are not your own hair. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Some people think that, you know, manipulating your dreads is bad or, you know, not part of the lock journey or you should keep them as natural as you can, which, you know, that's, you know, the more freeform approach uh, to dreads. But, you know, summer's coming. Some of us want to zhuzh up our hair, do a little bit um, more to it than just let it grow and form into this magical, beautiful hairstyle all on its own. Um, and I personally don't see a problem with, well, I mean, obviously adding color to the hair or jewels or, you know, manipulating, blah, 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 manipulating it in other ways than retwisting. I just, I don't retwist my hair because I feel like it breaks my hair, uh, too much. Also, I just like the look of, um, no scalp as, uh, I have talked about before. <laughs> Yeah, so personally, I see nothing wrong with it. Some people, um, you know, there are everything Nazis out there, you know, hair Nazis, fashion Nazis, who will tell you that that is sort of wrong. You're like sort of ruining your hair or you're like not going on your dread journey the right way. And that's totally fine. Those people are just what I like to call wrong. So today, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about um, sort of ways to decorate your hair like externally um me for starters i have where are we here these so if you see the this color of dread in my hair these are like hair wraps but with like synthetic hair so we took a synthetic hair color that glows in black light because um if you can't tell i like black light stuff oh and if you are wondering this background is from neil gibson creation every time i use this in a video i will put it in the link um but yeah, um, so I like uh, black light things. So instead of dyeing my hair an unrealistic, hard to maintain color, I just wrapped it with some synthetic hair that'll do the work for me and stay that way for life. And I also have, let me see, let me see, where are you? Um, some dyed hair, some dyed hair wraps, and then beads, these little, Beads. You'll see them like on girls that have like box braids. Some people put them in the real dreads, I think. Some of them are dyed, some of them are extensions, some of them are extended with um, hair, more hair wraps. So I've got kind of a bit all over. Some of it is just dyed and it's fading, but that's just what I've chosen to do. Um, I used to have a lot more, but we're not here to talk about me. Um, I have a couple of images that I've picked up and some styles that are more common, some styles that are less common. So let's get right into it. So the first one that I want to talk about since we're well into spring, quickly moving on to summer, it is almost summer and festival season is upon us and you know, everyone wants to do something really cute with their hair. Um, and one of the most popular things is flowers. Who doesn't love a good flower crown? And I know some people say that it's tacky, especially for like festival poetesses, but you know what? Especially for us dreadheads in the dreaded community, I think that flowers in the hair is just a classic. Never tacky, never overdone. It can be done in so many ways. Um, it's just so natural looking in a way. That's just my opinion. I could be, I could just be stuck in cliche land, but um, I think that these girls have done it like so beautifully. It's just timeless, like flowers in the hair, like. I don't know. I really like um, dreads with hair, flower in the hair. It works for any festival, any style of festival, any type of music. You're going. The next one I want to talk about is one of my favorite. She has always been. I've been following her for like at least four years, um, and she is just in general one of my dread inspirations. Just like her face, her general aesthetic. 
Um, I think we vibe on the same wavelength uh, style-wise, and her dreads are just iconic. Um, it is Voodoo Fairy. Obviously, everyone knows who she is. Um, she does change up her style, not change up her style, but her dreads um, have this way of looking different over the years, Very doing very minimal things to it. So I think that's really cool, and she just chopped off her locks and added a bunch of hair wraps to it, so hair wraps will be the next thing we're talking about. Um, this is a very simple thing to do, you just tie some strings around your hair, you can do it where it covers a whole part of dread, or you can do what she has here, which is like just sort of crisscrossing it down um, the length of the lock. Um, I used to actually have these, um, I don't know if I have any pictures because I used to never take pictures of myself, um, but I used to have these, again, with black light string, um, but yeah, um, after seeing her do sort of a chop and rebranding, I guess, of her dreads, I kind of want to do it too, you know what I'm saying? The next one is someone that I haven't been following for as long, but I definitely think he needs to be think he needs to be talked about because his style is just so awesome. I am naming him the Boho King. Um, his style is just so amazing. His personality is just so uplifting and kind of refreshing. Um, and his handle is the or dreaded son. Um, he's just got like everything going on up in his hair. It's very boho style. He also makes like boho clothing, I think, for himself anyways. Anyways, but his, his style is just amazing. I don't really know how to talk about it because there's just so much going on, but um, these pictures should sort of be self-explanatory. We've got like beads in there, little danglies, little wraps, a little bit of everything. But all together, I think it makes a really great like look, just overall look. And finally, this one is very unique. Um, I think it's really rad. Um, this girl that I found through just one of those, somewhere on Instagram, in the world of Instagram, I found her. And, um, she put a spacer in her dread, which I think is a super cool, um, way of, you know, decorating her dread. Super unique. I've never seen it before. Um, plus maybe something she hasn't done before. I don't know. I don't like really follow her, but I did find her and um, I was thinking if I had one of those in my dreads, I would like add like cool things to it, like put a cool bead in it, like some crystals or maybe a glow stick if I was, if I was into that. But you know, you can add on to that, which I think is really cool. Um, but yeah, I've never seen that before. So I definitely thought that that needed a mention because it's really, it's really neat. I've never seen it before. And yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just a short video, um, just about some summer things that we can do to our hair. Do you guys have a, have any cool things in your hair? Any cool ways you've decorated, decorated them outside, you know, using your hair to do updos? Do you do like a special kind of wrap with a special kind of string? Is there something I just haven't mentioned altogether that you do? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for me today. It was just a quick little video to get you pumped for the summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go on and give it a like and give us a subscription. Subscribe to this channel because we've got lots more things to talk about going into summer. Some travel stuff, more hair stuff, maybe some more modifications stuff. So join the family. We'd love to have you and see you.